Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do another Wild Eye review. Uh, today I'm going to review the film Cat Sick Blues. Uh, but before I do this, I wanted to thank Wild Eye for providing me with this copy to review for you guys. Um, I'm going to put their links down below. They have a great YouTube channel and a great website that you can tune into and see what they're up to. A lot of respect for them. They give filmmakers their start, which is so important to independent horror these days. And they're extremely generous to um, the YouTube, my fellow YouTube people. To pass the word around about their films. <clears throat> Catsick Blues, right off the bat, is one of their raw and extreme line. It is actually number three on the spine. So that means that uh, Doll Syndrome and The Devil's Weekend were the first two. I'm very interested to see what they're going to come out with um, as far as the rest of the Raw and Extreme line. Um, so far, I've liked what they've done. Uh, this film uh, completely blew me away. Um, well, let's start out with the actual facts and figures here. Uh, Cat Sick Blues is a 2015 film which runs approximately 101 minutes. Um, it was directed by Dave Jackson. Um, now, of course, he went by D.A. Jackson before. He did, um, I believe he's Australian. He did a couple of television shows and um, did a film called Cannibal Suburbia. Which sounds like fun. This guy's a really good director. Now the two uh, main characters in this film is Matthew C. Vaughn, who plays the uh, the killer, which is Ted, and Sheila Denovan, who plays Claire Ellis. I hope I'm not butchering your name. And that is. Ted's love interest. Um, a brief synopsis on the film. Basically, Claire has a cat who she makes videos and puts them on YouTube. Uh, the cat is a sensation. And, you know, basically has a lot of likes, a lot of followers. You know, basically cute cat films. Um, one of the... One of her fans... Finds out where she lives, uh, goes to her house, uh, kills her cat, and rapes her. So all of a sudden you're starting out uh, with a pretty brutal, um, pretty brutal film. Now she goes to a support group for people who have lost their pet. And that's where she comes across Ted. Ted is a guy who... Um, his cat passed away when he was younger, and he is basically obsessed with Claire. He stumbles into the support group and basically becomes her love interest. And that's kind of the long and short of it. Now, as far as Ted, Ted is quite a complex character. Um, the beginning of the film, basically his attire is uh, black slacks, a red shirt that actually doesn't appear to fit him very well, a black cat mask, and he dispatches his first two victims. He then goes to a friend of his to construct these cat claws to make them for him, and also another uh, piece of the costume which I will leave to your imagination. Um, it's different. Now Ted's life consists of um, killing women basically and watching porn where the woman is dressed up like a cat. Um, it's a very odd film. But it is a fantastic film. It completely blew me away. Uh, Ted's wants to bring Ted wants to bring back his dead cat. 
So in his mind, he feels like he needs nine lives to do it. Or to take nine lives. And I'm kind of going to leave it there. I've probably already said too much, but this is a fantastic film. This is actually one of the best that I've seen from Wild Eye yet. Um, it's a terrific slasher. It's uh, fairly brutal and disturbing, but very well acted. Now, of course, on the back, you have um, some behind the scenes. Um, there's a documentary behind the scenes. There are two commentary tracks, um, deleted scenes, uh, short films done by the director, and trailers. Um, definitely, if you were to buy something from Wild Eye, I think this is actually the title. I've really, I really enjoyed this. Um, Bone Jangles, um, Secret Santa, those are some of my favorites. Um, the Horror Network. There's a lot of them I've actually really liked. Um, but I think this might be my favorite. Um, so, I wanted to thank Wild Eye for providing me with this copy. Uh, thank you very much. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.